Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing something a little bit different. So I want to show you how you can make your own journaling supplies for pretty much no cost. So you can see here, I'm not making a cup of tea. I'm making some tea dye. So I'm just putting four tea bags in a bowl, putting some hot water in and mixing it all up, letting it um, soak for a few minutes. And then I got these one pound dish cloths from like a convenience store and the texture of it just made me think of this cheesecloth stuff that other journalists use um, which I've never been able to get hold of now it's not exactly the same but it, it, its texture looks really good for building up layers and stuff for journaling but it's this horrible stark white so I thought let's give it a tea dye let's see how it comes out so I've cut some small pieces um, later I do end up having a great big piece that's been dyed because I use it to put all my leftover stuff on but you'll see that in a minute um so yeah I've got some strips I'm gonna dip them in I actually found that when I put them in with the tea bags they went far too dark so well unless that's what you want I personally wanted like quite a subtle tea stain so I do later on do a strip with uh, taking the tea bags out but it's still a little bit stark so it might be worth just adding more water if you want in a lighter colour I do add a bit more water as well but yeah you can see there it's very kind of orangey and I thought maybe once it dried it would go a bit lighter it still stays quite orangey so I'm using this piece here as like my drying rack kind of thing and that ends up actually getting a really nice tea colour on it in the end so that was quite a good move and you can see there i'm dipping it in and now i'm thinking this is going to be way too dark still so i take all the tea bags out pop them on the drying cloth uh keep hold of them tea bags because we'll be using those as well so yeah don't chuck anything away and you can see that's gone a bit lighter and i'm thinking this is more what i want so hopefully when that one dries it'll be a bit more subtle but yeah, I end up putting everything on that cloth there anyway, and that ends up going quite a nice colour. You can see the difference there in the colours. Okay, so put that to one side while it dries, and uh, keep hold of a tea bag because we're going to now do some tea paper dyeing, which you've probably seen before. Really easy. Just um, scrub the tea bag over the paper if you want in a dark colour. If you want in a nice subtle light colour again, just put it on with a paintbrush, that watered down tea. And then another one, I've got some whole reinforcers here, which are also from the, this convenience store I went to. And I just thought these are great for making tags. So I do some with a Distress Ink, my trusty old, what's it called, Vintage Photo, Vintage Photo Distress Ink. And then I also think, well, if you don't have a distressing, you could just use this leftover tea to stain them. And that actually worked out really well. So if you don't literally no cost for this, apart from they were a pound, I forgot to say, the whole reinforcers for a pack of loads. So yeah, very low cost. So now everything's dry. We've got the paper there, which is a really nice tea colour. Uh, you can see there the bit that was brushed on is quite a bit lighter, which is nice a mix of everything and i'm now going to show you what you can do with these to make them into actual kind of materials that you can use so with the tea bags now they're all dry you want to cut cut a bit around them and empty out all the tea because we don't want all that and you can see you're left with this really nice sheer papery kind of vintagey looking textural loveliness so yeah keep all of those i've sped up a bit here so you can see there's all my tearing them actually works quite nice as well you get some really lovely textures in there so yeah you can see it's like a frayed edge really nice they're really nice to use in your journal um of course if you want in this kind of vintage aesthetic so now i'm going to show you how the whole reinforcers work you've probably seen this before but just grab some card so it can be just plain brown card i found this bit of printed card with my designs on that actually it went a bit wrong i printed it the, the other side of the card was the wrong way around so as you can see there so i've kept this kind of lighter more faded side and made a little tag out of it so just cut a square just cut a rectangle out cut the corners off 
punched a hole in and I'm just going to ink around the edges because why not it just gives it that extra little bit of something as well and then the hole reinforcer just goes in uh, just around the hole so it really does look like one of these luggage labels that you've bought and because they're distressed and everything it just looks really authentic unfortunately these were slightly bigger than my hole but i'm sure you could get a hole punch that makes the right i mean they're meant for hole punched documents aren't they so <clears throat> i'm sure you could get some that are a uh, hole punch that's the right size but anyway it doesn't bother me too much that uh so i've just popped some string through there and it looks really nice just as it is um i feel like i could sell those in my shop just as they are but this is a mixed media journaling video so i'm going to show you how we can decorate this up so for a start let's use some of our pretty much no cost papers our parcel paper our book pages and some of this lovely textural tea dyed dish cloth we're going to layer some up you can also use your tea bags for this and you can see there that's my big piece of cloth that became actually quite a nice colour in the end so I'll be using that you can use your tea dye paper so this really is minimal cost layer some up just any which way rip some up and you can see that laid up they're going to look really nice on this tag so then we're going to get the sewing machine out of course you can just glue them if you don't have a sewing machine or you can hand sew and I've just put a zigzag stitch on and I am just literally I'm not even cutting the threads off I'm literally doing it as a as a one one reel so I'm putting my stuff under carefully sewing through it and then literally just carrying on and then I'll have like a whole string of them in the end and I can just cut them up so yeah and you can do this with just single bits of paper as well it doesn't have to be all these layered elements you can do single bits and they make really nice elements for your journaling so there you go okay so here we are with our selection of bits and bobs pretty much no cost I do have my distress ink but again you could use the tea if you really want to go for a no cost kind of project um the tea dyed paper the book pages and the music paper which is very you know low cost you might even have some in your house already that you could use um my tag which again you could just use some playing card if you wanted i had this left over the tea bags and our little ephemera pieces now i'm thinking to decorate this tag up and my thoughts were that this could go in the journal where's my journal so this journal that we've been doing on the journal with me i just think we could make a really simple um pocket page and just have this in here uh pretend there's a pocket there and then we could have our little tag in our journal so these make great ideas for journals as well could even do some journaling on the back of it if you had a plain back mine's got this um pattern on it because it was a misprint but yeah so let's see how we can decorate it we do only have a small space i do like to work small i've seen mixed media projects like this on youtube where they, they do quite a big tag which would probably give you more scope but i just think we can do something quite cute now i do i'm, I'm thinking along the lines of layering some elements up it really won't take much to be honest because it's so small and then having the Tim Holtz clipping stickers or something like a sentiment there. But I'm thinking if you really want to keep it no cost, you could actually get your book pages and cut up, select words you want to make a sentence and cut them up like that. So I'm not sure just yet what. I think this can definitely come in useful. Don't need this. This is the leftover piece of card. Um, I think we could definitely use this as a base layer maybe i do still want to see some of this that because we've got these these are going to do a lot of the work for us so let's have a look at which one of these i really like this one but it's maybe a little bit big and probably not this one because it's got the print on that i want to use some of that nice texture i do like the tea bag one <laughs> scissors and cut these all up 
so yeah these were the ones we did on the sewing machine and they're gonna be so nice i like this one actually this first one here so yeah you just cut these up like this and then you've got loads of little elements or you can keep them in a in a row if you want to remember some of them we just did not layering anything just sewing through them and then some of them we went to town with layering up the elements this one's nice i just think there's so much texture in these and you could add them to a journaling page and you would pretty much that would be like one of your main elements on there so i just think we can have lots of fun with those in the journal but let's focus on this tag first so i just put these to one side this one i really like because it's got some of this tea dyed um cloth on that i made but it's really nice and subtle tea color so i really like that one so i think i might try and use that one and i think a tea bag would make a really nice base i really like this one because it's got this kind of frayed edge so let's put to the side what we might not need so i do want to keep this pretty much no cost just stuff you can find around your house so that's why I'm thinking as an alternative to the stickers, we could possibly use some book page. We can find some words that look good. So. Decide what we want to do with this. not i've never really done a tag before and it's it's really only like doing a journal page but i'm a bit kind of don't really know where to start with it and because it's so small there's not a whole lot of space i definitely think this would be nice maybe some of this light a bit music page on here Let me try a bit of that quite like that maybe ink these edges up a bit But, I mean, this is just an extra bit. You don't have to ink up. You don't really need your distressing. It's just a nice little extra. And I would say if you're going to spend money on anything, just get a really good staple supply, like a distressing in a colour that you're going to use a lot. You don't need all the colours. Even if I had all the colours, I don't think I'd reach for many of them very often. I think that this, this um, vintage photo one... And there's one called tea dye as well which is like a lighter more kind of tea color that one i don't have but i'd like to get because i think i'd use that one a lot but apart from that i don't I honestly don't think i'd use the brighter colors and and such not for a lot of stuff anyway so if you get a staple one you can't really go wrong And I'm not fussed if it goes off the tag. I quite like it actually when it kind of goes off the tag a bit. I'm thinking to tear this because it's a little bit too big. Could even maybe it down a smidge and then it's just a matter of playing about i think i'm probably overthinking this because this i've not had to do a lot so i'm thinking oh but to be honest with all these elements i don't think you really need to do a lot let's start gluing some bits down let's just commit So 
sometimes you get the best results when you don't overthink things, I find. So although we're covering up the mushrooms, it it, it really it doesn't matter because you're still getting little bits of it. And it just adds to the whole effect, really. And I quite like having bits that aren't completely glued down because then you get this kind of 3D-ish effect. So I'm not going to worry about that. I think maybe this needs to just... A little bit trimmed or don't know whether to have it vertical or horizontal. I'm actually edging more towards vertical. And with something like this, it's probably not going to stick on that well. Let me just try. But I'm thinking we could maybe add a staple because that adds extra texture as well. It's actually not bad it's quite nice i would add a staple but the only thing with the staple is it's going to be silver and i just think it would be much better if it was like a bronzy color because i don't want to take away from this vintage feel let's have a look at what we could do for a sentiment so with your book pages you might have in mind what you want to write in which case you'd have to go and find it i don't have any idea so i'm going to look for some words on here that might be quite nice i've just seen let it go which might be quite nice so i'm going to cut that out imagine is quite good don't know whether these are going to go together or what but we can just try I'm just trying to show you how you can use things if you don't have the, you know, stickers and stuff like that, which a lot of us might not. If you're just getting into journaling and, and collage and things like this, just general crafty stuff, and you don't have all the supplies, or it might be that you can't afford them, or it might just be that you don't want to buy them, you don't want to have too many material things, and you want to kind of be more mindful about recycling and using stuff you've already got um so yeah that's kind of what i'm trying to do here i mean i have no idea what the sentence is going to be but when you've got some words that kind of inspire you then you can kind of look at piecing something together words that speak to you i suppose because you're journaling don't forget i know i do a lot of um visual journaling i don't really write and i don't really think about writing or even feelings i just kind of do what i feel looks nice but journaling is really at the core of it is about writing down your feelings and what you respond to and stuff like that so looking at some words and picking out the ones that really speak to you it's a it's a great way of journaling without really having to think about it pride i've got here love that word you could actually, if you want as well, quite a nice little exercise to do is literally just while you sat watching TV or something, go through an old book and cut out all the words that speak to you like this and then stash them away. So when you come to do a project like this, you've got them all and then uh, you've got words that generally speak to you. But on that given day, you can pick from your bank of words what, what really speaks to you. So that's a nice idea as well. Okay, so this is what I'm thinking. It took me a while. I was deliberating on it, but these are the words that I kind of found and these are the words that I'm thinking might go together. So, untethered and free, surrounded by the light of day. It doesn't really make that much sense, but it's quite nice and calming for me. So, I'm going to go with that. Now, the only thing is, because they're quite small and because I've already got book pages on here and all that, they're not going to stand out that much on here. I mean, they do look okay, don't get me wrong. I'm just, to be honest, they might be okay. Because they're standing out a bit as well. But I don't know whether maybe a little bit of vellum or another little bit of paper behind them. 
or something might just be needed. Let me just try this bit. Or, see that kind of just makes a bit of a difference, but this is quite distracting up here. Unless we have them over here where it's not quite as busy. Yeah, I'm thinking that might be better. Because then you don't, yeah, definitely. Then you... That's quite nice, actually. Maybe just give it a little bit of an ink, just what, what's left on my pad. I don't want to give it too much. I just think maybe the edges could do with a little bit of an ink. Like that. Yeah, I quite like that. So, do we call this finished? I mean... I'd probably be inclined to add some kind of focal point, like a sticker or something, but because this is a no-cost one, and I also want to show that you don't always need loads, it can just be really simple. As well as all this that we've used, you could also add some washi tape in the background just to add more depth and stuff, but like I say, because I, I want it to be very low-cost, I think this is fine as it is. I do, I think this is nice. I think this this element is you know, a nice textural element, so, yeah, um, of course, you could always cut an image from a magazine as well, that'd be a great no-cost or low-cost way of doing it, you could add, um, like a little paper clip to it, add a bit of interest if you wanted, but it kind of looks like that's been paper clipped to it, that's quite nice. I hope you've enjoyed this kind of low cost ideas video and of course all this stuff that you've got left over I've got loads of it here just from this one little um, exercise I've got all these kind of bits that I can use again and again and again so keep them all in a little box guys and use them again um, I love this pile of words I'm definitely going to find some sort of tin to put them in and keep and I've got tea bags left over I've got paper left over i've got all these lovely little elements and i just think you can do so much with so little you don't need to be spending money sometimes i think things like this are more effective than things that have been created with you know stuff that you've bought so you know there's a place for everything but i really do think guys that you can do it with pretty much nothing and look what you can create it's really cute and we're going to put that in the next journal i think the next journal with me i think i'll be using this and making a little pocket for it i did think of doing a video as well of like little pockets that you can make they're also pretty much cost free i'm gonna try and make some kind of template so you can make your own little envelopes and stuff you could make them out this tea dye anyway that's for another video i think so yes there we go like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video if you'd like more videos like this please let me know i definitely like doing stuff like this and just showing you know sharing my love of kind of thrifting and craft together and showing you how you can just create um things when you really don't need a hell of a lot so yeah i had fun today let's do it again sometime see you later guys bye